Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth playthrough. We're on episode 12. We're about to go encounter Roche from the remake game, which from what I understand was a um, addition that wasn't in the original game, one of the changes. I love this character, he's an absolute nutcase. So. Uh, are we just going to the balcony? What light from yonder balcony breaks? Come on down and say hello. Pretty sure, yeah, we have to go through the end. <laughs> Fucking absolute noodle. No, nope, that's over there. Honestly, how long do you intend to keep me waiting? Absence certainly makes the heart grow fonder, my friend. <laughs> Still playing hard to get, eh? Well, I've got news for you, young man. As if by <laughs> The Speed Demon has been entrusted with a singular task. Retrieving one Aerith game. Uh, me? You come alone? <laughs> it only takes two to tango. Besides, you and I like to go big, and a venue this small just won't do. But no need to worry. I found the perfect stage. The city above, where we can dance up a storm. Seek me out, and we'll put our last performance to shame. With a show none shall ever forget. <laughs> you got some weird friends, man. We might want to think about getting out of here. These people don't need more trouble. Yuffie said to talk to Priscilla if we wanted to get topside, right? Let's go find her. Thanks for dealing with that Shinra nut job. Don't you think for even a second we did that for you? The slime ball who sold us out. Take it. Not much, but it's yours. The hell's this supposed to be? <laughs> Your bounty. Part of it, anyway. You thought I'd put you through the ringer like that without making it worth your while? We're on the same side. Always have been. And what if Biker Boy had taken us in? Then I would have had to improvise. But I didn't, because it all worked out. Worked out fine. Like I pray it will for you, Fee upstairs. <coughs> hey. <coughs> Do shit later. So I was over here. Oh yeah, here. I'll show you this. We'll continue. Uh Sure, I'd be happy to. 
Although, Yuffie's the one who found it. And according to her, that tanker is the quickest and easiest way into the city. See that? That booth up there is the control room. So we can repurpose this ship as an elevator. Someone lowers and sends it back up, along with the others. Problem is, how are we supposed to get to the controls? High voltage? Yep. It should just say, no climbing. So we're stuck. Not with Mr. Dolphin. You wouldn't believe what he can do. Like... Like when we met. See, I was out taking a swim all on my lonesome. At least I thought I was alone. But then, squeak, squeak, I hear this funny noise. That's great and all, but we're in a hurry. Hey! We're sorry, really. But we'll make sure to come back as soon as we're done. You can finish your story then. How does that sound? Okay, promise. <laughs> hmm? Never done it before? My arm, your arm, bam! Oh, gotcha! <laughs> awesome! Alright then, now what? Now we ask Mr. Dolphin to get you up! With his help, it'll be a cinch. Okay, which one of you wants to go flying? Hey. Yeah. Got you written all over it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know when you're ready to go. Right now is the answer. Beach balls, he loves so much. Excited and speed up. If you're swimming fast enough by the time you reach the goal, he will be able to launch Cloud of Control and uh, an R2 to perform shot. It's a mini game for that whole mission. Dude, there's like 50 fucking mini games in this game so far, but most of them are actually very enjoyable. Grab the motor.
Okay, your ride's right here. The ship's not far, so you'll be there in no time. If we don't sink on the way. <laughs> what is spirit? Spirit does not like water. <laughs> What's he gotta realize? He only he, he wouldn't be able to swim very well. No, he's only got one hand. <laughs> Okay, so if Cloud has to be on the controls, how are they going to get up there? Big fucking cannon, bro. I really want Cloud's next sword. Let me give it to me before I get uh, all the way up there. Ah, there you are. Let's move. BFC, the big freaking cannon. That was the BFG. That's the BFC in this case. Less security than I thought. More worried about the parade? <laughs> Guess things have changed. They got higher priorities. Personally, I think that's a good thing. The city's size, on the other hand, the robed men won't be easy to find. They're definitely not here. Let's head into town.
We cannot let Midgar win. Not on our own home turf. Any idea what that is? The highway. Shinra's pride and joy. The fastest, most advanced airship in the fleet. Let's take that. Unless you got a trained crew and piloting skills we don't know about, we're sticking with the boat. That's too bad. What if they hurt me? Hey, beggars can't be choosers. <clears throat> I'm not sure how to get down there. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, as though the armed men would let us just walk through and bring a air god knows how many million dollar aircraft down there with us yes totally for now hmm. enter an emissary from wutai is here sent by viceroy saruth He introduced himself as Colonel Glenn Ladbrock. All right. You were dead. <laughs> then you thought right. Let's cut to the chase, Mr. President. The Viceroy and your late father had big plans. I assume you intend to carry them out? Correct. That's good to hear. Some people just don't have the stomach for war. And this battle for the Magnus Materia demands commitment from both Wutai and Shinra. Thank you, I'm aware. But my father is dead, which changes the equation. A new vision is required. <laughs> You always did prefer to march to the beat of your own drum. This new vision include your fairy tale promised land? <laughs> you Shinras, you take and you take, you never give back. 
left to you, this world would end up an empty husk. But war can put things right. Beget anger, desolation, hatred, and in its wake, new unity. A people rejuvenated, and a planet once more made whole. What we're doing's for the greater good. Just gotta know when to ease off the gas. Now listen. You started this, remember? No more playing the idle air. You have obligations to fulfill. <laughs> Let's give the people what they deserve. Oh, right. Before I leave, a message from the Viceroy. Congratulations on your inauguration, Mr. President. Shinra has a bright future. Those troopers seemed pretty psyched for the parade, huh? More like eager to prance around for their new paymaster. <laughs> now, I know what y'all gonna say, but I gotta ask. What? If Rufus is in town, are we really gonna let this opportunity pass us by? And we kill the man, but we ought to at least give him a talking to. Rough him up a little, maybe, you know? Actually, I'm gonna have to agree. First, the Turks say, do whatever, we're not after you. But then, Cloud's biker buddy rolls up and says he is. We gotta straighten this out. Okay, but how? We can't just walk up to the president in the street. Maybe we can. 
We bust up his parade. No. That's how we die in a hail of bullets like a bunch of dumbasses. The city's crawling with Shinra troopers. We join the parade. Hide in plain sight. Get in, get close, get answers. Seriously? Sure. Wow, that's good. No arguments here. Barrett, Brett, you guys find a route to the port. See what security's like. And keep an eye out for black robes while you're at it. Now hold up! Fatigues won't be enough to disguise you two. <laughs> True enough. Shut up. All right, see you in a bit. I gotta go find a uniform. Oh, we're coming with. I'm so pumped for this. This way? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but don't forget, you gotta act the part too. Just do what I do, all right? <laughs> oh, no. God, you gotta love Cloud and shenanigans. that you simply forgot. Sorry, sir. <gasps> sorry, sir. You're sorry? Do you have any idea how important today's ceremony is? Do you maggot? Form check now. You will give your commander a flawless performance. <clears throat> and if you show her anything less than perfection, I'll feed your ass to a behemoth! Now what? Just follow my lead. I still remember the basics. I'm having second thoughts, you guys. What the hell are you doing over there? The commander is waiting! Sir! Attention! Have to hand it to you three. You've got guts skipping out on practice. That, or you're idiots. Let's find out, shall we? I'm not about to take any chances today. I'm warning you now, though. One slip up and I'll chuck you straight into a Marlboro's mouth. Clear?
Oh god, what the fuck is this? Oh my god, no! <laughs> so, oh god. Oh boy, this is gonna be a giant pain in the butt. So, tap, mash, and then hold. Okay. <laughs> you will be our model trooper, the one to march at the head of our drill team. Which means that our performance, satisfactory or otherwise, is now your responsibility. Ma'am. Parade, Captain. You will round up your fellow troopers currently on leave in Larvor Junon. You will recall that, to march in the parade, each drill team is required to muster five mm. units or more. Look for the seven Sprasarms. They'll identify the best from the rest. Once assembled, you and the team will report to Starboard Junon. Tardiness will not be tolerated. Now! Make us proud. The fuck is this? Man. As free captain, it falls to you to locate the seven entries, desperate units, and assemble your drill team. When you have found at least five units, you can fine tune your performance lineup to drill two. But that certain units unlock different formations, successfully performing more difficult formations will improve your rating. Interesting. <laughs> There's so many little mini games. There's more than <laughs> needs to be, but I love it. I love the sheer amount of look at this. They're still in their uniforms. It's great. I love it. Oh my god. It's fucking hilarious. All right. Well, it's time to end the video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you want to see more of my content. Uh, this will be in the uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth playlist on my channel, and I hope you all a good day. I will see you in the next one. Peace out.